Roughly two weeks to go before city elections here in New Orleans, the political ads you're seeing now will only increase. In the race for mayor, crime and how to best fight it is a major issue. As Tom Trong reports, one political ad promises some lofty goals, among them a new police chief. The latest political ad from mayoral candidate Michael Bagnaris targets two areas of the NOPD. First, manpower. When Mitch Landrieu took office, we had over 1,500 officers. Today, there are less than 1,200. The second target, the police superintendent. Michael Bagnaris will add 400 officers to the force. He'll hire a new superintendent. Here's Chief Ronald Surpass responding. I never have a comment to political debates. That's, all, that's what that is, is politics, political dialogue. And when it comes to the shrinking number of officers on the force, Surpass claims one of the biggest hurdles to recruitment is one that's rarely mentioned. And that is this. What were the decisions of councils and the prior administration in 2008, 2009, and 2010 that essentially bankrupted this city that when we took office in 2010, we had no money to hire anybody? Political analyst Clancy Dubo says the ad is a good political move by Becknerris. This puts Mitch Landrieu in an interesting position because if he staunchly defends the police chief, then he could weaken his own position. Dubo says the ad's focus on crime is not surprising, but pledging hundreds of new officers is unrealistic. The NOPD is currently trying to recruit 150 new officers, something that's already a challenge, but 400 new officers would certainly require more money and effort. Certainly on a campaign trail, you can promise the moon, but in terms of delivering, it would be extremely difficult to have a net increase of 400 officers. While the police chief may be unpopular and the Landrieu administration struggles to find new recruits, Dubos points out that under their watch, the city saw 155 murders last year, the fewest in more than a decade. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.